Hi, my name is Janelle McClarty. I'm the owner of EncoreWebsites.com and today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add or edit a page on your WordPress website. So you can see here that there are a bunch of pages on EncoreWebsites.com. So I'm going to show you how to go in on the back end and add another page and or just make edits to an existing page. So first step is to log in. So you just type in your website name and then at the end just go into your login page. So if you want to know how to log in, I have a separate video on that. There's different extensions um, that lead to the back end of your website. So I'll link the video for that below. You're going to enter your username and password and just hit login. Then you're going to see your dashboard. So it's going to have all the basically information and areas of your website where you can edit and change basically every area of your website. So we're going to be focusing on the pages section, which is right here. You're going to click that and you're going to see all your pages listed. So Right now it says that I have 25 pages on this website. So as you can see here, there's one, two, three, there's six main menu pages and I have a lot of sub pages. Um, let's first, I'm going to show you how to add a new page. So it's so simple. You go at the top, you see this button that says add new. Click that. And then you're going to see this area, which is the page title area. So we're going to add, see, this is the page title. So home, about us, services. I can add the page title, which could be like portfolio. I'm going to call it portfolio, let's call it test portfolio. So when we click, the next step is to click publish. And when you click publish, that means that the page is going to be automatically live and published and ready to be viewed. Um, this is the body area of the site, so this. So if you want to put any words or make any design changes and all that to the actual page, um, you can add media and all that. You just click here and just add whatever text or anything. You can make it bold. You can do a lot with this area. So I'm just going to do that. And anytime you make a change, you can just press update or you can preview the change. So when you click on preview change, it's going to show you how it looks on the actual site without actually, um, it's just a preview, so it's not published yet. So see the page name is test portfolio. The content that I put was test one, two, three. It's there. Now I'm going to show you how to edit an existing page. So so that's how you add a new page. Actually, let's go back. I'm going to show you how to add the page to the menu as well. So this is the menu right here. You're going to go to Appearances and go to Menus. So this means I didn't press Publish. It doesn't. It's not going to say Test 1, 2, 3 anymore because I didn't publish that edit. So this is the menu section that shows all the site menus that I have. So this is my main menu. So we're going to add the test portfolio page we just made by going to this tab, which is the most recent tab. This is the most recent page that I made. And we're going to click Add to Menu. 
and there it is added to the menu. It's going to be after videos or I can put it anywhere I want. I can drag and move this. I'll put test portfolio right after the real portfolio. Press save menu. And then when we go to the actual page, see how this is portfolio? When we refresh that, it should say test portfolio after. See, test portfolio. This is the first portfolio. So that's how you add a new page that you made to your menu. And you can add it to whatever menu you want, even like your footer menu, that's your main header menu. So I'm gonna take that off because I don't need this, it's just a test. So to take that off, you just click on the drop down and go down to remove and it removes that and you press save. Now I'm going to show you how to edit an existing page. So you just go back to pages and I think the page that I want to edit is going to be my contact page. So here it is right here. If it's if you have a lot of pages and you want to search for it, you could just search for it right here. Press contact, enter, and then it will populate whichever pages has that name. So here it is, contact. You're going to press edit. So it's going to take you to the same look of adding a new page, but this page is going to have more content on it. So I'm going to show you how the current contact page looks first. So here's the contact page. Okay, and this is how it currently looks. So it says contact at the top, let's connect, and it has a little form at the bottom. So this is how it currently looks, and our Google Maps. So I'm going to edit this content up here. So here it is. We have the Google Maps section. We have the Let's Connect right here. Let us help you with your dreams, from your mind. So this is all the text. This is the entire page. And we're going to edit this text right here. So I'm going to press Edit, Text Block. And it says, let us help get your dreams from your mind to the web in a financially fun friendly way. I'm going to edit that. Let's say, let us help get your dreams from your head to the web today. OK, drop us a line, and we'll answer any questions you may have. Done. So we're going to save that. And we're going to press update because I want that updated. So you notice how when we're adding a page, it says publish, but when the page is already existing, you have to press update. So it's already been a published page. And now you're just updating the content. So now when you press preview, let's wait for it to load. I'm going to preview it to see if it's how we want it. So here's the contact page. So it's not updated yet because it still says dreams from your head to the web. Let's go back. Let's press update one more time. So that's why you have to just double check 
sometimes that any changes you make, they're actually updated. So the page refresh, so it looks like it updated. I'm going to actually go here. This is the actual site. Press refresh, and this is the old content. When it's refreshed, it should say the new content. And there it is. Let us help get your dreams from your head to the web today. So that's the edits that we made here. Yeah, this is the entire contact page. So yeah, that's it. This is a little really brief tutorial on how to, I showed you number one, how to add a new page to your website. Um, number two, how to get that new page on the menu, the header menu right here. And number three, how to edit an existing page. So we edited the contact page. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully that helps you in your business. If you do have any questions, feel free to drop us a line below or send us a quick email. And thank you very much for watching. Once again, this is Janelle, the owner of EncoreWebsites.com, and have a great rest of your day.